¿Qué pasó, jefe? Okay, yeah, we back. The two. What up? It's good, y'all. It's been a little, a little minute. It's been a while. I ain't even gonna lie. It's been more than a while. I'm not gonna lie. It's been, a, it's been, a, it's been a couple. You know, uh, a little good minute. I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, man. How y'all been? Y'all boys miss me? I ain't gonna lie. Look, look, check that set out. Don't know. I'm like, look at the setup, though. Setup going crazy right now. You feel me? I'm gonna give y'all a little tease real quick. So y'all boys the set up how we get down over here, you know what I'm saying? Got the scar face out there. You know, so far, so far, so far. You know, we getting it, we getting it in, we getting it in. And how y'all boys been though? Okay, now we got the, oh, you know, how are you over here? You know what I'm saying? That camera looking fire. No lie. Um, what's good too? You know, I, I, I actually wanted to uh, sit back and, I want to sit back and talk to y'all for a little minute. Let me set the camera up right. Hold on, y'all give me a second. Y'all been blowing up my DMs on Instagram telling me where I've been. Why I haven't uploaded in the video and shit like that. And I know y'all boys tired of it. Tired of hearing the excuses and shit like that. I'm tired of it, to be honest with you. But just let's cut it straight, simple, and right to it, bro. What's good with y'all boys? So, check me out, though. Uh, it's been a little good minute. I haven't posted a video in a long time. I've been, uh... I've been working, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I've been working. I've been working, uh, you know what I'm saying, regular nine to five type shit. And I felt like, you know, it's good to take a break from the two. I'm not gonna lie. It's been a good while. You know, when you take a little good amount of break from YouTube and shit, or just social media in general, and you just focus on just running up your money, YouTube is really like, uh, you know what I'm saying? You, I, I, I took it as a hobby. I've been doing this shit since I was 16 years old, bro. I'm 26 years old. Yeah, boy, I'm a boomer. I'm a boomer. I'm a boomer. You know what I'm saying? I'm an old guy. I'm an old head right now. You know what I'm saying? For the new day generation kids. You know what I'm saying? We were the savages. We were the ones that used to run up YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I joined YouTube when the, when the Rice Gum era, ZS and Lu era came out. Soluminati and all that shit came out. So, you know, a little good area. But now, I see that it, it just falls back on that. Like that the, the main reason why I stopped making videos is because, bro, I'm going to be honest with you. It's like... It's so stupid. It, like, the new generation right now is killing the fucking game. And I'm saying killing it as in, like, not that you guys are, like, killing it. Actually, y'all boys going hard. Yo, bro, y'all making it worse for the newcomers. Y'all making it worse for us that really, like, enjoy this shit. And actually, like, creativity has come to a point that it's just broken entirely. You just have these kids running around YouTube and just doing dumb, stupid shit just to get viral and it's like kind of stupid repetitive it's re it's, stu it's stupid it's repetitive and it's like bro y'all making rhetorical dumb niggas famous and it's kind of stupid to me like bro it's just dumb as f like these kids nowadays just making it harder for the next person to come up because like the things that they're doing now is causing more ruckus and shit like that you don't want to be a content creator because everybody nowadays want to be a content creator it was cool back in the day it's not cool anymore and i'm gonna give you a big example on this shit and let's start off with this kid neon i saw this video pressing ideas he tried to like be so tough or some shit and it didn't work out that way so i'm gonna switch over to the uh, to the pc and then we're gonna react to this video real quick to show y'all boys you know so we're gonna we're gonna throw a little spice to it we're gonna give y'all a little vlog with it and a little little reaction to it because it's kind of crazy so let's just jump on that this is the type of generation that we're living in right now look at this day 11 tackling random people for every thousand followers and i just opened twitter that's to show y'all right now i just opened twitter this the new generation we living in brother look at this shit um there's a group over there and one of them just went in the bathroom and we finna wait for him to come out he's getting stuck by this crash nightmare <laughs> look at this shit bro. you know we had to upgrade the getaway car getting though wicked <laughs> oh there he is get out get out get out hop out so it could be staged hop out nah 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 go who knows? But at the end of the day, you playing with you playing with on, your life. You playing on, with other people's you. life. Come on, bro. For some clicks, for some likes, it's crazy. Shit. Get the V. Get the V. Get the V. Get the V. Get in that side. Oh shit. Oh shit. You got to pull. Go. 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 What you expect was gonna happen? You run into a random motherfucker. You just tackle him for no fucking apparent reason. Like, brother, do you know? You know that's assault, right? You know you go to jail for that. Imagine if this wasn't state, cause it look obviously it looks staged a little bit, whatever, whatever. And this is the first thing that popped up on my Twitter. Who knows if he shot at the car? He probably shot at the floor, whatever. Idiots. This generation that we're li that we're living in, we're cooked. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're cooked. If this is the new generation of 
Content creators, I feel bad for the generation after that. You value your life so much that you're like, bro, I'm good. I'd rather work a nine to five. I don't want to do that. Because the last person that did this, this and that, it got them rich. So imagine what you might do to up the score. You got to up the score at the end of the day. So for you to get at their level, you got to up it. I literally had to like both these videos. This kid yes, is, um... first and foremost, just in general, this kid's the ultimate dork. This the most the most dorkest kid I've ever seen on the internet. It's the dorkest, nerdiest, bummiest kid I've ever seen on the internet that you guys ever made famous. Top 10, one of the worst YouTube streaming, whatever the fuck you want to put it, platform, content creator, whatever the fuck he is. Because I don't even know what to even call this man's kind of content. Who even sits there and watches this man whole stream? I feel like the kids that are watching this guy's stream really want this kid to get hurt. They literally do not watch this kid for his content. They watch this kid for him to get hurt. And I'm going to be honest, the day he does get hurt and the day he does get shot up or something like that, bro, he had it looking for him. So the kid is glued to the phone. There's nothing. I, be, I, I look at little pieces and stuff like that. The thing that goes viral for him, like his agenda and how he's set up to reach his virality is by doing dumb shit to get himself harmed or doing dumb shit to quote unquote entertain y'all. But you're not really entertained. You just want to see this kid get hurt. He's like a little dork that you see in the back of the class saying stupid shit. But you know, at the end of the day, he's gonna get his ass beat. It's the type of kid that you hide in locker rooms, that you literally tuck his ass inside the locker room. And his bodyguard, Leon, because that's his, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know, brother, how much this man is paying you. I feel so bad for you, bro. Whatever this kid is paying you, my God, there's plenty of jobs out there you can get. And he has to be paying you a bag for you to be falling behind this embarrassment because, brother, there's plenty of jobs you can get. You don't need this shit, bro. Hello? Hi, nice to meet you guys. Um, this question is for Nate first. I just wanted to ask you two things, man. Um, first question is, um, who inspired you when you were, uh, you know, first up and coming when you were boxing? Who really made you want to become one of the greats? Uh, first and foremost, my brother, my big brother, was fucking doing a lot of good shit and putting me on game with a lot of people. I liked Mike Tyson, Roy Jones, uh, Oscar De La Hoya, Ricardo Mayorga, uh, Fernando Vargas, and... First and foremost, this man, as you can tell, Nate Diaz, we all know who Nate Diaz is. If you don't know do you, if you don't know who he is or his brother, do your research. These guys are from California, Stockton, to be exact. These guys, they just fight. That's all they do. That's the thing about them, they just fight. They're not scared to fight who anybody. They're not scared who it is. Outside, street fight, don't matter. And for you to come to the press conference, knowing that this man is about to have a boxing match, and you come over there with the utmost disrespect, legend like Nate Diaz in front of his whole camp, in front of the audience, and try to go viral by picking on fucking, uh, uh, picking on a legend, bro. You're fucking ridiculous, you're stupid. People in his camp are ready to die for this guy. And you really, you're, you're willing to risk your life just to feel more viral and have people be like, oh damn, Neon a thug, he went and did that. No, you're not a thug, brother. Cause what happens after is just hilarious to me. Uh, all those guys and uh, shit, everybody, there's too many to name. Wow, that's amazing, man. That's amazing. Uh, second question I have for you today, man, is um, when you do get knocked out, are you gonna retire? Who said that? So I know who you are. Uh, or that if that little bitch boy, you fucking little pussy. Fuck. If 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 you do, if you do, I, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna be watching. I just is I'm excited to see both sides, but it, I'm gonna kick you in your. Hey, P.S. F you. <laughs> I, I have a lot of respect for everyone, man. It's just, I want to see a great fight. Fuck you. <laughs> Simple as that. He said when he get knocked down, right? Yeah, fuck that. It's little shit kids like this little bitch talking in this motherfucker. It's like uh, changing the times. Need your little ass whoop. And the idea is very hard to understand this guy because, you know, <laughs> I, I don't know, bro. I had to be CT or some shit. Basically trying to say this little kid right here is brainwashing you guys, the new generation that's coming up. Thinking that it's okay to disrespect your elders, disrespect just entirely. Like, the generation that, that already paved the way for a couple of the fighters that are coming up. And this, like, you can disrespect basketball players. You can disrespect whatever the fuck you want. But you want to disrespect fighters? You're really risking your life for, vir for vir virality, for real, though. You're really risking your life to get your 
beat. There's nobody holding fighters back. Nobody's gonna hold no fighter back, bro. There's no bodyguard that's gonna be like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk my life and get in the way for Neon not to get hurt. Uh, Leon might do that. Leon might be like, you know, don't hit him. He's a kid. I don't know what type of bag that man has. I don't know what choco Leon is in, but my brother, you need another job because fuck it with this kid, you're going to get your dumb ass shot. I ain't going to lie, bro. There's a lot of security jobs out there. You don't have to be protecting this midget. This man is a goop. Dorkiest kid on the internet right now. Dorkiest kid on the internet right now. If I could go out through a list of the dorks of the internet that has fucked up this generation, this would be the first one. He's the face of it. This kid literally died, made a video that he was gonna die, and then made another video that he's alive for him to, to go viral, for people to be like, oh shit, to give him a, a topic to, to talk about. It worked for him, don't get me wrong, got the, att the attention of Aiden Ross, but this nigga is one ungrateful little bitch does anything just to go viral. Any little thing. All this nigga's just waiting for is to get his ass beat. He's another Jack Doherty. Him and Jack Doherty, that's why they don't like each other, because they're the same person. They do anything just for clicks and likes. And the thing about these two, they'll talk this shit. And hide behind the security guard and just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I did that. You're not going to go nowhere by yourself. You got to hide by security guard all the time. So you got to have them on the fat payroll. Because without them, you're not going outside. You're not coming outside. You won't, you will not catch this kid behind a, a, a back alley or nothing by himself. Not even going to go grocery shopping. That, that, that man is cooked. Him, Jack, all these retards that are fucking up brainwashing this new generation. They can't go anywhere by themselves. <laughs> I got little girls over here that'll fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we car, get in the car. Yeah, let's go. I'll call Masvidal, just get in the car. Oh. You see this dude right here? He didn't give a f who security this was, but this nigga's getting pushed as well. What's up? Right, he's getting pushed as well. Get out the way. We coming through. We about to whoop his ass. And what did Neon do? You know what they do, you know what I'm saying? Neon only got one security guard. Jack probably had like two, three, because he couldn't afford it. He's got into that... To that standard that he needs more security. The more security guards that you see around them, the more shit they're gonna talk. But you're never gonna catch them boys lacking by themselves. Never. Probably might be one good chance to catch them lacking. Might see a little lawsuit or whatnot. Then if you embarrass them, I feel like they're still gonna talk their shit. But just that ass whooping that they deserve, bro. The only fan base these kids have is retards and brain dead like themselves as well. People watch these kids just for them to get hurt. They want to see them get hurt. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is Nate Diaz, security guard, bruh. That is crazy. Leon is not about to lose his life for this. This nigga will destroy this man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is my favorite part right here. I love this part right here. Hell yeah, get chased. Look, 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 look. This is Leon. This is Neon security guard. The guy is already gone before Leon. This man is risking his life for that little... Dork. That's sad, brother. There's so many jobs out here you could be doing, and you rather do that. That man has to have you in a good payroll, brother. I feel bad for you, dog. Please, I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. I love that part, though. Please, I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. That's the actual call for help, nigga. That nigga is gonna die. In that part right there, Leon basically like, yo, bro, chill, bro, he's a kid, bro, da, da, da. Yeah, all right, huh, you think it's a, all, all fun and games. This is not real. Bro, this is real life. This is not stage. This is some real shit. You fucking with people. Like, you you think you're going to come up by, by talking your shit and just running away? Bro, when I tell you this man dipped and ran, he went ghost. You did not see that man at all. He left. He gone. He dipped gone. immediately, bro. You know? That being said, Neon, you are a joke, you are a dork, and if you ever come across this video or whatnot, I just want you to know, brother, the success that you got, it played out in your favor. Don't get me wrong, it played out in your favor. You're making bread, I'll give you that. You are accomplishing, you accomplished that, you made your money. But you will forever be known as the dork of the internet. You might think you have fans, but in reality, you don't. You think they're laughing with you, but in reality, they're laughing at you. They want you to get hurt. You are not coming up as this tough guy. You are not tough, brother, at all. You will never come as as tough. It's like the same as Jack Doherty or whatever his name is. You guys are the laughing stock of the internet. You guys are clowns. And this is why I say content creation has come to this. You have to embarrass yourself to the point that you might die to actually come across a little virality. After this wave or whatever the fuck you want to call this shit dies down, 
what else can you how can you top that off because now it's like do reactions or do actual content like skits or whatever or just normal shit people want to top it they want to be like how can i become famous for real how can i top off boom gang how can i top off all the motherfuckers that 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 did their thing i want to go beyond that i don't i don't want to go you know i want to disrespect all the legends now you like niggas like jake paul i'm gonna fight the old guys now i'm gonna embarrass them by knocking them out and be like i'm the guy you're not the guy you guys are dorks of the internet bro and it's very difficult for people to even make content because you got dorks on it everybody thinks they're tough they're not tough bro and like look at this he comes off as tough like yeah i'm gonna ask that question. <laughs> I did that, huh? But y'all boy laughing. You not, bro. You about to get hurt. You about to get put on a on, on, on a cast. You about to get put on a t-shirt. That's basically one of the big reasons why I stopped making content. Why I stopped making YouTube videos. Why I stopped reacting. Because everything is is, is repetition. Everything is... Why would I react to, to, to uh, something that's repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly? This person is a joke. This person is a joke. This person is a joke. The whole social media has turned into a joke. Social media has come into shambles this shit is ridiculous it's sad it's just sad at this point so like comment subscribe to the channel appreciate y'all boys and um you know what i'm saying i haven't posted in a while i feel bad for the real ogs that you know have been following me for a while but it is what it is bro and it's very hard for me to even pick up the camera and be honest with y'all look at the camera like damn i need to make content but then when i look back I'm like fuck don't believe every content creator that you come across with and if you're making content right now it's for the real for the for the for the for the, for the people that make reaction uh stuff also like do whatever. Whatever you do, do not. This is a little piece of advice for y'all boys. Because I did, I had to find out by myself. Whatever you do, do not get too friendly with content creators. They will use you. They will squeeze the lemon out of you. And then when they already picked up what they need to pick up, pick up from you, they dip. That's it. They only use you for the time and for the publicity. They don't give a fuck about none of that shit. You saw what happened with Kai Sinat and Bruce Joppamoff and your rage. They're leeches. All these content creators, they're leeches, bro. They will use you. They will, they will empower themselves. And then when they get that power and feel glorified and feel like they have all the fan base, it push you to the side and they think they the man now. And it's like, no, bro. At the end of the day, you trying to eat, I'm trying to eat, everybody trying to eat. How about we just help each other out? This content creation shit is all about business. Don't think that they fucking with you because they're your buddies. They're not buddies with you for real. They're just trying to use you for the content. I had to learn that a lot. I learned that this whole year that I've been off YouTube. I learned that a while. Cause I, I was going, I was buzzing. Motherfuckers was all over. Yo, yo, you. Da, 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 da. Soon as the buzz went off, I didn't see them boys ever again, boy. I don't see nobody ever again. I don't see nobody posting no other shit. It's a little piece of advice for y'all boys. Do not trust content creators. Everybody on here is fake as fuck. Everyone. They just use you for your content. They just use you for the clout. Everybody's chasing after that clout. It's a drug for them. And if you don't believe me, just, just... Get a little buzz, you'll come back to this video. Trust. So, that being said, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. I hope you guys are good. And, uh, you know, if you guys want more video, bro, just let me know, bro. Like, y'all just, you feel me? Y'all let me know if y'all want more reactions. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm down to do it. I'm just like, you know, uh, I feel iffy about doing this. So, like, you know, I got to get back to the rhythm. So, hope y'all guys enjoy the video. And, uh, yeah, man, I'll catch y'all boys in the next one.